Our project today is to take a little plain little drop leaf table and make it over into the cute little piece you see here. We're going to head out to our shop and we'll show you the process. This is the table that's our project today. It's a common made in Malaysia drop leaf table. You see them all over. Our goal is, is to give it an updated and contemporary look and we're going to show you the process that we use to accomplish that. Our first step is to give the top a light sanding. The grit on the paper we're going to use is 150. See right there? And so we're going to give it a light sanding. Our plan is to make this table a two-tone. So we're going to remove the base from the top to make it easier to uh, apply the different colors to each segment. To get a, a better adhesion with our paint, the next step we do is we wipe all the surfaces down with this sander deglosser that you get right off the shelf at Home Depot. Now that's pretty mundane, so we're not going to film that, but we'll be back as soon as we're done giving it a, a good uh, cleaning. We're going to apply a coat of black spray paint as the undercoat, and this is the brand we use, and it's flat black. Uh, and we'll be back as soon as we're done with this uh, step of the procedure. We spray the underside of the table um, as well just to give it a, a little bit more finished uh, appearance when we're done. Particularly the leaves, when they're folded down, you can see the natural wood underneath if you have forgotten to paint those. And then next, when this dries, we're going to flip it over and uh, spray paint the uh, top. We finished with the uh, black primer and now we're going to brush on a coat of this uh, teal green that we call Provence and we'll uh, see what that looks like uh, in just a second. We finished with our uh, paint on the base and the top. We put two coats of paint on them. Now we're gonna take our palm sander with 220 grit, and we're gonna sand the detail on this piece to make it stand out. We're ready to start sanding now, and our goal is, is to sand just lightly through the outer coat of paint, the blue, so that the wood underneath and the black primer will show through to give us some depth to the uh, uh, architecture of this piece. Hopefully you can see there, uh, we just sanded the corners and any part, any part that has uh, some definition to bring out that definition. Can you see that there, I hope? So now we're going to do the top. So here's the look that we were shooting for. Just a little bit of definition around the edges. So now we're going to apply a uh, clear coat to seal it and reassemble it and it'll be ready to go in our shop. For the top of the table, this is the material that we use. It's very durable, easy to apply, and we've had really good success with it. We brush it on. We pour a generous amount of the uh, sealant out on the table and then spread it evenly with our brush. That way we get a good, good thick coat that'll be durable and give this table a long, long lasting life. So we've got the coat on nice and thick and it's just a matter of giving it 30 or 40 minutes or so to dry. So then we will reassemble the table. Now since the base doesn't get the same kind of wear as the top, we use this product here to spray the base. It gives us a nice finish and a uh, good sealant. It works really well. And here it is. It's all finished now. The only thing left is for us to take it over into the shop and uh, get it all dressed up. And we'll show you how that looks. And here it is. 
all finished, decorated up in our shop, waiting for its new family to come in and take it home. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next time, we hope you have a great day.